Hey guys, in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a filter where you can place 3D objects into the real world with the functionality to move it around and also to change the size of it by pinching the screen. So yeah, let's start. Hey again, so let's create a filter where we can place 3D objects into the real world with the functionality to move them around and also to scale them. The first thing we have to do is here to import a 3D object we want to use to create this filter. Of course, you can use any 3D model you want, but I will use here just a 3D model from the Spark AR library. So for this, we go to the left hand side to the AR library. Then we go down to 3D objects and I think I will just place an animal. Otherwise you can also search for an object you want to insert. And yeah, I think I will go here with this fox. When you have decided um, on a 3D object here in the IR library, make sure you click on import free. After the download is done, the 3D object is imported to our project, so we can see it here um, in our assets panel. So, this is good. When we have done this, we have to create an object in our scene. For this, we go to our scene panel, click on the plus, and here we go to the plane tracker. Just click on it and hit insert. Now you can see there is a yellow new object here in our scene and also here in the viewport we can see um, yeah, a blue square with a plus in the middle. So now we can just drag and drop our 3D model we have imported into our plane tracker. So yeah, just drag it over the plane tracker and then yeah, just place it into it. So now we have yeah, imported our 3D object to our viewport and we can already see it in our filter. But most of the time the 3D models are far too big to use it in the filter as you can see here. So we have to scale them down. To scale down 3D objects I always um, do a little trick to make this yeah, a little bit easier. For this we select the 3D object in our scene Go to the right hand side to the transformations and next to scale we can find a little arrow. When you click on it you can find a yellow patch in our patch editor. So here we can also set the scale for every axis but I want to control every axis with yeah, just one value. So for this we add a new patch to our patch editor and here we search for the pack patch. So when this is done and um, we connect the vector output of the pack patch to the 3D scale input of our yellow patch. When we have done this the 3D object is gone because now it has a scale of zero. So because we need another patch so click another time on add patch and now search for the value patch. So now when we have imported the value patch we can just connect the output to all three inputs of our pack patch. So after this is done we can just set the value here um, one time and it um, will set all three axes to the same value. So I will set this to 0 0.2. Yeah, This is a nice um, yeah, scale for my fox but of course every 3D model is different so just play around with this number and until you find the right scale for your 3D object. So this is al already a very important step because we also will use those three patches to control the scale with um, a screen pinch later on. So next thing is that I will set here my video. Now you can see me, but of course to work with 3D models in the yeah, real world space, this is not that nice. So you can go to the left hand side to the video and here you can search for um, another video or an environment and here is the 3D object space environment. This is just the white one with the gray lines. So as you can see here I have changed it to that, to that and now it <laughs> looks much better. And here you can also move around with ASD and W um, your camera so you can look around. This is pretty handy to test 
the filter. So now this is done. Now we want to include a functionality to move our object around and also to scale it. When you test this filter on your phone, it would already work. It will place your 3D object into the real world but you can do anything with it because there are no interaction. So for this, we go to the left hand side to our scene, to the plane tracker, and now we um, drag and drop the plane tracker into our patch editor. And now we can see that Spark AR automatically creates those three patches for us, which we can work with. So the first thing I want to do is that we yeah, can change the position with a screen tap on yeah when we tra when we drag our finger across the screen that the object is moving with it. So for this we need a few patches to do this. So the first patch we will um, insert is of course a screen pan patch, and this patch um, recognizes when when you drag your finger over your screen. So, and here we have three outputs, gesture state, 2D offset and 2D position. Now just connect the 2D position output of the screen patch, screen pan patch to the screen position input of our plane select patch. The next step is when we have connected those two patches that we search for another patch and now we need a loop animation patch. And because I want to update the um, position of the fox when I um, drag my finger across the screen. So when the screen pan is active, so the gesture state output goes into the enable input of the loop animation, I set the duration from one second down to 0 0.01 seconds and then connect the looped output to the set tracker input of the plane select. And now when we test our filter, when you um, change this to simulate touch and then drag your finger across the screen, you can see that your object is moving with your tap on the screen. And now we can change our position of the 3D object in the real world. So now we have implemented this function. One function is left because we also want to scale our object when we do a pinch gesture on our screen. So for this we need a new patch and this is of course a screen pinch um, patch and now we can here connect the scale output to the value input of our value patch. Now the 3D object is back to the real um, size but we also can change this. For this we need a new patch and this is a subtract patch. So for the first input we connect the scale output of the screen pinch patch and then the output of the subtract patch goes into the value input. So I had 0 0.2 so I have to subtract 0 0.8 from 1 that I get 0 0.2 out of it. So we can't um, test the screen pinch feature here in the, in the test mode. So you have to test your filter on your device. So here just click on send to, send to device or refresh and then just test it on your device. And you will see that when you pinch your fingers on your screen, um, you will change the size of your 3D object. And yeah, that's it. Now you have successfully placed a 3D object into the real world with the functionality to move them around and also to change the scale with a pinch gesture. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!